Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject, Community Health Nursing. Topic for the day is Historical Development of Community Health Nursing in India. Historical Development of Community Health Nursing in India. For the purpose of study, I have made a diagrammatic representation of the topic. That is, Historical Development of Community Health Nursing in India, mainly classified into three broad areas. First is Early History. Second one is British period and third one is post-independence period. So, early history, British period and post-independence period. Early history again classified into three different periods such as Vedic period that is 3000 BC, post-Vedic period that is 600 BC and Mughal period that is 1000 AD. Second is British period. British period I have again divided into four different areas. First area is reasoning for beginning of community health in India. Contribution from Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder. Contribution from other missionaries, English missionaries. And the fourth one is beginning of health care during British period. Then third area is broad area is post independence period. For the purpose of study, I have made five different areas. WHO, five year plans, basic courses and health care services, health for all by 2000 AD. NHP, RCH, NRHM, Aishman Bharat and MLHP. Let us discuss in detail all these three broad areas. So, historical development of community health nursing mainly classified into three broad areas. One is early history, second one is British period and third one is post-independence period. Early history again classified into Vedic period, post-Vedic period and Mughal period. Let us discuss one by one. First one is Vedic period. So, Vedic period 3000 BC. The recordical history of Indus valleys that is from Mohanjadaro and Harappa revealed that the ancient people were following ancient civilization and environmental sanitation etc. During 1400 BC, Ayurveda and Siddha medicine were started in India. Second period is post Vedic period that is 600 BC. The post Vedic period consists of religious practice and teaching of Buddhism and Jainism. That is religious practices and teaching of Buddhism and Jainism. And there were introduction of medical education by Takshila and Nalanda. That is the oldest ancient universities. And there were development of hospital system during the period of Buddha. So introduction of medical education by Takshila and Nalanda, oldest universities. And development of hospital system during the period of Buddha. The third period is Mughal period that is 1000 AD. The Mughal period were introduced the Unani or Arabic system of medicine by Muslim rulers. So, introduction of Unani or Arabic system of medicines were practiced during Mughal period. Then there was a disappearance of medical education, medical services and ancient universities and hospitals during Mughal period. The second broad area is British period. For the purpose of study, I have classified into four areas. Reason for beginning of community health nursing in India. Contribution from Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder and contribution from other English missionaries and beginning of health care during British period. The British period generally considered the middle of the 18th century to 1947. During 1859, a royal commission were appointed to investigate the unhealthy condition in the British army. 1859, a royal commission were appointed by the British government to investigate the unhealthy condition among the British army. Reason for beginning community health nursing in India. The human delivery in India were practiced by untrained dyes. They were belongs to Barber or Dobi community. The dyes were not trained properly. They were not given any education regarding the conduct of delivery. That was led into unsafe delivery. That was increased infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate in India. Though there is male gynecologist and other missionary doctors, the orthodox religion community in India were not permitted to conduct the delivery. So the delivery were conducted by untrained dyes that led into unsafe delivery in India. Unsafe delivery by untrained dyes increased infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate in India. Contribution from Ida Sophia Scudder. Ida Sophia Scudder was the young woman, lived along with her father, Dr. John Scudder. He was a missionary gynecologist in India. Though he was a missionary gynecologic doctor, the orthodox religion community in India were not allowed him to conduct a delivery. Still, the 
infant mortality rate and maternal mortality were increased. There was an incidence of three maternal mortality and infant mortality in a single day in their neighborhood that was changed the mind of Ida Sophia Scudder. She had a strong determination and passion to become a doctor. Ida Sophia went back to England and became a doctor and came back to India to train the doctors and nurses. And with her strong determination, she became a founder of Christian Medical College, Vellur. So in short, reason for beginning community health nursing in India, the delivery services in India were rendered by untrained dyes. The male doctors were not allowed to conduct the delivery by orthodox religion community. That increased infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate due to unsafe delivery. The three maternal mortality and infant mortality in a single day in her neighborhood, Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder changed her mind and she had a strong determination and passion with the devotion to become a doctor to reduce infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate. Thus, Ida Sophia Scudder became a missionary doctor and became the founder of CMC Vellore. Thus, she had been giving training for doctors and nurses during her period to decrease the infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate in India. Contribution from other missionaries. Later, during 1886, the training for dyes were given by Miss Evelte under her supervision. She was motivated the untrained dyes by paying incentives and at the end of the training issued the certificates to the dyes and renamed them into trained dyes. During 1896, the outbreak of plague were made an awakening by Government of India to improve the public health. So, Government of India awakened to improve the public health due to the outbreak of plague. During 1900, two English missionary nurses came to India. They were given training for the lady health visitor to replace the dyes. Lady health visitor were held the torch of the nursing during that period. So, during 1900, two English missionary nurses were given the training to lady health visitor to replace the dyes. The lady health visitors were considered as holding the torch of nursing during that period. In 1988, first lady reading school started in Delhi to train the lady health visitors. In 1935, all the health related activities grouped under the control of central government, central Com provincial government and later provincial government or state government alone. Later in 1943, government of India appointed board committee to identify the then existing health problems and give the report. During 1946, board committee were given report with the recommendation to replace the lady health visitor by public health nurses. The first health care of India, comprehensive health care, came into existence in 1946. Then later, in 1946, first college of nursing were started at RIK Medical College in Delhi and CMC Vellur in Tamil Nadu. In short, during British period, reason for beginning of community health nursing in India, Contribution by Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder, contribution from other missionaries and beginning of healthcare services in India. The last broad area is post-independence period. It includes WHO, five-year plans, basic courses and healthcare, health for all by 2000 AD, RCH, NHP, NRHM, NUHM, Ayushman Bharat and MLHP. Let us discuss one by one. In 1948, Government of India joined as a member of WHO, World Health Organization. During 1950, Public Health Act in India established and Planning Commission also constituted by Government of India. In 1951, first five-year plan started in India. During 1948, Government of India joined as a member of WHO, World Health Organization. The Public Health Act in India came into existence during 1915 and the Planning Commission were uh, constituted by the Government of India during 1950. During 1951, commencement of first five-year plan in India. The first 10 month courses in public health nursing for the trained nurses started in 1952. Community development program was launched in 1952 and the primary health center was established in 1952. So in 1952, first 10 month courses in public health nursing for trained nurses started. Community development program was launched and primary health center was established. 1956, INC recommended to discontinue the lady health visitor training program and to integrate the public health nursing or community health nursing at all nursing schools curriculum that is in both BSc nursing and the GNM curriculum. Thus trained nurses can become either public health nurse or staff nurse after the training.
So in 1956, INC recommended, Indian Nursing Council recommended to discontinue the Lady Health Visitor Training Program and to integrate the public health nursing or community health nursing at all nursing schools curriculum that is both in BSc nursing curriculum and GNM curriculum. Thus, the trained nurses after the completion of the program, they can work either uh, public health nurses or they can work as a staff nurses. Then in 1965, Government of India replaced the comprehensive health care services to basic health services. In 1965, Government of India replaced the comprehensive health care services to basic health services. Later, in 1977, 30th World Health Assembly mooted a plan of health for all by 2000 AD and followed by 1978 Almata Declaration on Primary Health Care. So, Government of India also changed basic health services into primary health care during 1978. Then 1981, Government of India adapted Health for All by 2000 AD. 1983, Government of India started first national health policy. 1995-1996, that was the largest single day public health event, that was a pulse polio immunization, started on 9th December 1995 and 20th January 1996. So, in 1981, Government of India adopted Health for All by 2000 AD. 1983, Government of India started the first national health policy. And 1995-96, Government of India started a program of pulse polio immunization. That was the largest single day event took place on 9th December 1995 and 20th January 1996. Then, during 1997, RCH, Reproductive Child Health Services, first phase started. During 2004, National Tuberculosis Control Program inculcated DOTS treatment of therapy, that is direct observation treatment short course DOTS during 2004. 2005, RCH second phase started along with the National Health Mission. 2013, National Urban Health Mission started in India. The National Health Policy revised during 2017. 2018, Government of India started Ayushman Bharat for the upgradation of the sub-centers into health and wellness center and 2019 INC recommended integration of mid-level health providers that is MLHPS in basic BSc nursing and post BSc nursing curriculum. So in 1997 RCH first phase started the National Tuberculosis Control Program inculcated the DOTS program. 2005 RCH second phase came into exist along with the National Health Mission that is NRHM National Rural Health Mission. Then later 2013 National Urban Health Mission started in India. The National Health Policy revised in 2017. Later 2018 Ayushman Bharat started in India to up for the upgradation of the sub-centers into health and welfare centers. And uh, in 2019 Indian Nursing Council recommended for the integration of the mid-level health providers that is MLHPs in basic BSc nursing curriculum and the post BSc nursing curriculum. So this is the historical development of community health nursing in India. So in short, historical development of community health nursing in India mainly classified into three broad areas, early history, then British period, then post-independence period. Early history again divided into three areas. You can remember that Vedic period 3000 BC, post-Vedic period that is 600 BC, Mughal period that is 1000 AD. Then second broad areas, British period that is reasoning for beginning of community health nursing in India. That was the beginning of the Royal Commission for the British Army. Then contribution from Ida Sophia Scudder. Then contribution from other English missionaries. That is Miss Hevelte and two English missionaries. Then beginning of health care. That is in 1918, 1943 and 1946. The last broad area is post-independence period. That is uh, WHO, five-year plans, basic health courses and health care, 1956, 1965. Then uh, Health for All by 2000 AD, then 1977 uh, World uh, Health Assembly, 30th World Health Assembly, motored a plan of HFA, and 1978 Primary Health Care, Government of India replaced the basic health services into Primary Health Care in 1978. Then last one is RCH, first phase 1997, second phase 2005, National Health Mission, then 2017 Revised National Health Policy, then Ayushman Bharat 2018, then 2019. Uh, INC recommended to integrate the MLHB in BSc and uh, post BSc curriculum. So, thanks for watching. I hope this video really benefit in your studies. If you feel it is worth, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy till we meet with another important educational video. Thank you.